Ah, sorry, my nose is so itchy. Allergy season. <gasps> my channel guys so today I am going to be doing a try on plus size Shein little haul with some dresses a shirt and a couple swimsuits this is completely out of my comfort zone when it comes to trying on the swimsuits for the camera I've worn swimsuits on the channel before like in vlogs and stuff but I've never like modeled them for the camera so I'm kind of scared but I wanted to do this for you guys so that you could see a couple different plus size options that are out there because let's face it ladies it's rough out there finding plus size clothes especially plus size swimsuits and especially if you have a larger bust it's it's just practically impossible. If you guys are trying to base some of your purchases like off of my body, I'm just gonna give like a quick recap of like my sizing. So my breasticles are like a size D, double D, depending on who's measuring them. In tops, I usually buy like a large, extra large, extra, extra large, depending on the top. In bottoms, I buy a large, extra large, extra, extra large, depending on the bottom. But when it comes to swimsuits, I would say normally on top, I buy like an extra large or sometimes like certain companies will categorize like D slash double D tops. And for bottoms, I usually buy like a large or extra large. Okay, so little disclaimer, I know that Shein is not the best company. It is considered fast fashion, which is not sustainable. However, when we are discussing fast fashion and sustainability, it's important to keep in mind that people of lower income and the lower class don't have the same options as those as the upper class. This is why I normally thrift most of my clothes because I can't afford to spend a bunch of money on clothes from Reformation or more sustainable brands. However, I was having a really, really difficult time finding swimsuits specifically for larger chested women. So I had to turn to Shein as it was one of the only options and was the cheapest option that I could afford. So yeah, I know it's not a good company, but just try and keep that in mind. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so first up, I'd like to talk about a couple dresses that I found on Shein that I'm pretty excited about. Okay, so the first one I found on Shein is just this cute little short floral dress. I have it right here. It is green and it has like red dots in the middle of these like white flowers all over it. And I got this in a size 2X uh, just based off of the sizing chart and also the reviews. I definitely recommend looking at the reviews if you're gonna buy stuff off of Shein because it's super helpful, especially when people put like photos of them wearing the different products and you can kind, kind of see like how it might fit you. So I got this in a size 2X and that ended up being the perfect size for me. It fits me perfectly, especially because because it has this like stretchy waistband sort of situation that cinches around kind of like the upper waist almost like underneath your boobies. Yeah, it just it fits me perfectly. I really really like how this one ended up fitting me and how it ended up looking. It is a little bit longer on me than I thought based off of the photos, but I am on the shorter size. I am 5'4", so most things kind of fit me that way. But yeah, I really like this dress. I'm definitely going to be wearing it in the summertime. It's a really thin material. I mean, you pay for what you get when it comes to Shein, but it's not see-through at all, and it's like very comfortable, not scratchy at all or anything. So I think honestly the thin material will be nice for the summertime. It is very like staticky and is like sticking to my body a bit, but I think with maybe some like dryer sheets or something, I could easily fix that. So yeah, this one is definitely an A plus. I would definitely recommend. It comes in a, quite a few different colors, I'm pretty sure. You'll come to see throughout this video for some reason. I I just am really on a green phase right now like I'm really attracted to green things with white flowers on it for some reason so that's a theme throughout this but just know that a lot of these things come in different colors if green is not what you're looking for okay so the next dress I got is this green dress with white flowers on it and this one is more of a maxi dress and has like white buttons down it that then open up for like a slit at the bottom I have it right here this one again is very thin material but not see-through at all it does have like some random places where the stitching is coming apart all things to be expected when you're shopping from Shein now this one I also got in a size 2x but it definitely is a little bit too big for me it does fit but it is a little bit baggier than I thought it would be I thought it'd be a little bit more foot fitted around the waist and around the top so I would maybe size down next time like if I were to buy this again but the only thing is that would make me a little nervous is then I'm not sure if the sleeves would 
would fit correctly. Like I feel like the sleeves might be a little bit too tight if I had sized down in this. So I'm not sure. I'm considering maybe like safety pinning the back. I don't know how to sew like or having my grandma like sew the back so it's like a little bit tighter. This dress, I like it. It is more of a muted green than the last dress I tried on. I think it's really pretty. It just kind of makes me look like a teacher a little bit, like an elementary school teacher, which is fine. Just not really the look I was going for. Again, I'm 5'4", so this dress ended up being a lot longer on me than some of the models on the website, which kind of sucks, but I do think that also is in part from the sizing. Like, I think if I did cinch up the back that it would lift the dress up a little bit more and be more the correct length. If you're curious at all, yes, the buttons work, so if you wanted to undo it, you can do that. It, it, they are workable. I don't know if you can tell the sleeves have some, like, ruching? Is that what that's called? That kind of, like, makes them bunch up, and that's the part where I'm, like, a little bit concerned that would maybe be a little bit too tight if I sized it down. I'm not totally sure if I'll wear this unless I do like cinch it up in the back just because it doesn't necessarily fit me that great and isn't really the vibe I was initially going for but I would recommend this dress if you if it like fit you correctly I think it would be really really cute so the next thing I got from Shein is actually this white long sleeve mock neck and the reason I got this is because I've literally been looking for a white long sleeve mock neck for like months now to wear like as a layer like layering underneath clothes during the winter and stuff and now it's like spring going on summer so I'm a little late but I'm very excited to use this when it gets cold again because it is exactly what I was looking for. It is unfortunately very see-through <laughs> which is to be expected with Shein. Yeah it's very see-through. I'm wearing a white bra as you can see and you can just you can totally see it. It is completely see-through but that's fine. I wasn't necessarily planning on wearing this very much by itself. I was mostly planning on wearing it underneath like t-shirts or sweaters or sweatshirts or whatever and so it being thin is kind of exactly what I was looking for because I tend to get overheated really easily so when it comes to layering I like my layers to be thin so that I don't get super overheated so yeah I like how this one turned out and it was a good price and it fits me well I got this one in a size 1x and it fits me perfectly uh, it's tight uh, but not too tight it's still comfortable I would definitely recommend this okay so moving on to the swimsuit Suits. I got both of these swimsuits in a size 2x and that ended up being perfect for me. So the first swimsuit I got is this like green, I know, how surprising, green floral print swimsuit. And all the swimsuits well, I think most of the swimsuits on Shein come as a set. So this one came with a matching bottom that is high-waisted. And yeah, this swimsuit fits me great. It is like a wrap top, technically, which I don't know how I feel about because I feel like it kind of makes one of my boobs look bigger than the other, which is interesting. And yeah, I just, I don't know. It kind of looks awkward on me as like having a bigger chest. I don't know if I've said this already, but I am like a size D, double D, depending on where I'm getting measured so unfortunately they I don't know how else to describe it except that they like swallow material underneath them so for swimsuits a lot of the time the bottom of them ends up going underneath my boobs which is fine like if that's what needs to happen to support it, then that's what needs to happen. But with this one, since it does have that like tie detail, a lot of it gets sucked up underneath. And so, so it's just left with like this little tie kind of on the side. And I don't know, I just feel like it kind of looks awkward. I'd almost rather it just didn't have the tie. But I do really like this swimsuit. I think it is really cute and it fits me really well. Luckily, the top does have adjustable straps, which means, you know, you can tighten it or loosen it depending on what you need or how much support you need, which is really nice and I do like that like the band on the back is pretty thick yeah it just it's very comfortable maybe hide some of my little back rolls the bottoms are full coverage bottoms for sure the fabric though is kind of like not itchy but it just kind of feels a little bit weird and also I can tell that like I feel like if I wear it in the water for a really, really long time it might get kind of loose like it's already kind of loose just something to be aware of but other than that like I think it looks really cute and it's really comfortable and yeah I like this one. I'll definitely be wearing it. And the swimsuit does have removable cups. I have them in right now, but you could remove them if you wanted to. I'm not sure if I want to remove them yet just because they might be like, I might need them for support. I can't tell yet. So they are in right now, but you could take them out. 
Okay, the next swimsuit and the last item that I got from Shein is this lavender swimsuit. So I actually got this one because I have bottoms from Aerie that I wanted a matching top with. And so I bought this swimsuit, even though it does come, come with matching bottoms, I intended to get it for the top to match the airy bottoms that I already have. But yeah, so it's just like this like bandeau lavender top. And this one also has removable pads that I'm not sure how I feel about. They like are very stiff and strange and obviously like move around. So I might end up removing them. I'm just scared that if I do, the swimsuit might be like a little see-through or something. But yeah, it's very comfortable. Again, has adjustable straps. I'm able to get support and like have it fit me correctly. It does have like a band around the bottom, but again, my boobies just be under, you know, they, they just, they swoop, swoop that up so you can't see it, but it is there. This one does like it kind of strangely, I don't know, like in the middle kind of like gaps a little bit and stuff, which is strange. The bottoms feel a lot more high quality than the bottoms on the green swimsuit. They are more of like a high leg style. However, I don't really like like how they don't completely cover my belly button. Like they don't quite go high enough on me. So I think I would rather wear my airy bottoms with the top, but these are still Still a good option like I still can wear these if I need to I will say though what's something that is really frustrating is there's like an almost identical swimsuit to this on Shein that isn't plus size like in the regular size section and it seems like it's higher quality than the plus size one I don't know how that true that is because I haven't like held it in my hands myself but just like based off the pictures and the reviews and stuff it definitely just seems like higher quality and you know obviously there's way more options that are in the regular size rather than the plus size and that's something I've just gotten used to but it does suck to see like a swimsuit that is supposed to be the same just in a bigger size is like has less care put into it did I say I got this in a size 2x I think I did but this yes this is in a size 2x and it does fit me well so I think I sized it correctly let's do my final thoughts okay so that was my little Shein plus size haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful in some way I really do overall like a lot of the pieces that I got it is like really hard to find swimsuits that fit me and work well for me and make me feel cute so I am happy with like the purchases that I made so I would recommend taking a look at the plus size section on Shein if you're having trouble finding swimsuits fitting you and looking cute and being cheap but yeah let me know if you guys want me to do more videos about plus size clothing or plus size swimsuits this was horrifying for me to film but I'm really proud of myself for doing it it's hard to like put your body on camera, but I'm trying to be better at self-love. <laughs> so yeah, leave a like, comment down below, and I will see you guys next Monday. Have a good summer. Bye! Uh, nasty.